Welcome to Curve Pavement Scout Edition. I'm headed off into the back country of the Grand Canyon for eight days for research on a future curve pavement project. My plan is to descend off the rim of Hack Canyon here, make my way down to Kanab Creek, and then all the way around Fishtail Mesa. Wish me luck. So I've started my descent into the canyon. And so far the wind has just been relentless. A little over an hour into my hike and I'm finally down off the big cliffs. From here on out, it's just a gentle slope to the bottom. Tomorrow night's a full moon. Definitely burrows. It's getting dark. Okay, I've made my way around the horses in the burrows. And now I'm just gonna let them be. Because I still need to find a place to camp. And it's getting dark. Get a closer look. The horses are very aware of me, but they don't seem too spooked. This is about as close as I'm going to get right here. Maybe I'll see you guys when I get back here in seven days. I gotta go. Later. Cruising along through the lower end of Hack Canyon. I've reached the confluence of Hack Canyon and Kanab Creek. From here it's just downstream about another eight miles to Jump Up Creek. And I should say creek bed because there is definitely no creek here. I'm entering into the limestone narrows of Kanab Creek. Okay, getting ready to set off for day three. I camped last night right by the junction of Jump Up Canyon. And today I plan to go up all the way through the narrows and get up back up near the top of the rim where I hope to find some water and have a good camp. Okay, I'm about to leave Kanab Canyon and enter the narrows of Jump Up. Canyon. This is the narrowest section so far. I am out of the narrows and back out into the open. And I can finally see the top of the rim again, where I'd like to be tonight, if I can make it. Yay, we have water. My trail went above the trickle falls and has brought me to this spot, which is nice. Unfortunately, it's a little too steep and a little too slick to climb up that there, so uh, 
I have to go back downstream. I must have missed a bypass. What is that? What is that sound? That is, but it doesn't like me being here. Unfortunately, I need to go that way. Okay, that sounds like a frog. I'm not afraid of a frog. Oh, I hope it doesn't attack me. That's no frog. Welcome by. Okay, well that was pretty uneventful. I was hoping to get charged by a wild frog of the Grand Canyon. Crazy frogs. We just climbed out of Quagunt Canyon, trying to take a shortcut to the south, and look what I spotted. Look at those. Okay, we'll go up and take a closer look. This site is just south of the original site. I can see that's Fishtail Mesa in the distance. That's what I'm making a big loop around. So I need to get over to the base and up the gully to the left. And there's no trail from here, so I just have to find my way over there somehow and get up and over the top of it. It's Mr. Shadow! <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make it to the Grand Canyon. I thought it was too tough, but uh, I guess he's here. Yay! Okay, the sun is going down on day three. I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to, but I'm optimistic about tomorrow. My shortcut route is looking good. So uh, I found this cool place. I'm gonna camp here and uh, have a good dinner and hit it hard tomorrow. My shortcut, instead of taking me across the rim, is gonna go through this notch. It's not an official trail, but uh, it's listed in a few guidebooks as an okay route. But before I do that, I need to take a little sidetrack and go over to get some water from Indian Spring, which you can see the green trees over there mark the spring. Great news, the water is flowing all the way down to where I have to cross the creek bed. Oh, sitting here in a nice shady spot getting ready to pump some water. And I spotted why this might be called Indian Spring. Look at this. The notch is getting closer, but it's still a long ways to go, and I'm tired, and it's hot. But I'm gonna make it. I'm almost at the top of the notch. It's been exhausting. I. Uh, I had to climb about two-thirds of the way up before I actually saw a use trail that I was able to jump on and follow the rest of the way, but uh, it's still taking me about an hour and a half to get up to the top. I'm about 10 feet away now, but uh, you can see it's a long ways back down there. That's where I came from. Where I camped is uh, way back out there on the horizon. Yay! I made it to the top see to the other side and the rest of the Grand Canyon. It's the north.
north rim out there. I just contoured along this gravelly slick path right above that big drop off. Now it looks like I'm down to this gully. It's gonna be slick all the way down to the bottom. Sun's going down in the Grand Canyon and I am nowhere near where I'm supposed to be camped at. I'm not camped yet though, I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer. about to jump off the Esplanade down into Surprise Valley. In this vantage point I can actually see the Colorado down there. Long ways down there now I'm basically out of water. I opened up my emergency reserve of six ounces just a little bit ago. But I know there's thundering river down there which will have a lot of water so not too much farther. Oh beautiful sight. Thunder River Springs touching out the side of the wall. Oh, I gotta get down there and get a drink because I've been out of water for like an hour now. It's been hot. Man, how can it be that most of this canyon is bone dry and out of nowhere you get this? Feeling good again. I just drank about almost a full liter of the best water ever. So now I'm gonna bundle some up and take it back to camp and uh, head on out.